Hello everyone. Welcome to another lecture of the course Digital Signal Processing. In the previous lectures, we have seen various properties for discrete Fourier transform. So now in this lecture, let us consider properties for a real signals discrete Fourier transform. So let us consider x of n as a real signal. So it is a real valued signal. And let x of k be its discrete Fourier transform. So this x of n has n point dft as x of k. And as this x of n is a real valued signal, therefore this x of n will be equal to its conjugate. So we have x of n equal to its complex conjugate that is x conjugate of n. Now we know that this x conjugate of n will be having its n point dft given as x conjugate of n minus so it can be written as minus k mod n or it can also be written as x hat x conjugate of n minus k. Now we know that as this x of n is equal to x conjugate of n which means that their Fourier transforms will also be equal. Therefore this x of k will be equal to this x conjugate of n minus k. Therefore what we have is x of k is equal to x conjugate of n minus k. So this is the first thing that we have for real signals now what we can do is we can split this x of k we can split this x of k into real and imaginary parts so we can write it as x of k is equal to x r of k plus j times x i of k. So this x r is real part of x of k and this x i is imaginary part of x of k. Therefore, this x conjugate or uh, let's say this x of n minus k can be written as x r of n minus k plus j times x i of n minus k and if we take complex conjugate on both the sides, so we have x conjugate of n minus k is equal to x r of n minus k minus j times x i of n minus k. So what we have is x of k is equal to x r of k plus j times x i of k and we have x conjugate of n minus k is equal to x r of n minus k minus j times of x i of n minus k and we know that x of k is equal to x conjugate of n minus k. Therefore, if we compare these two equations, we can say, say that this x r of k and x r of n minus k is equal and x i of k and minus of x i of n minus k is also equal to each other. Basically, the real and imaginary parts for both of these should be equal as individually they both are equal to each other. So, what we can write is 
this x r of k is equal to x r of n minus k. Similarly, we can write it as x i of k is equal to minus x i of n minus k. So, this is the second set of observation that we have here. Now, let us consider these equations here that is let us consider this part here. So, we have x of k is equal to x conjugate of n minus k. Now, if we take the magnitude that is mod of x of k, so it would be equal to mod of x conjugate of n minus k. Moreover, it would also be equal to mod of x of n minus k. Now, if we consider angle of x of k, so that would be equal to angle of x conjugate of n minus k, but that would be equal to negative of angle of x of n minus k. Now, we know that this can be written as tan inverse of real part of x conjugate of n minus k divided by, so it is tan inverse of imaginary part of x conjugate of n minus k divided by real part of x conjugate of n minus k. So, we know that the real part is equal to x r of n minus k and this imaginary is minus x i of n minus k. So, we have it as tan inverse of minus of x i of n minus k divided by x r of n minus k and this angle here that is angle of x of n minus k is equal to tan inverse of it would be minus of minus, so it would be minus of imaginary part of this x conjugate of n minus k. So, it would be minus of minus of x i of n minus k. So, what we have is x i of n minus k divided by x r of n minus k and this is equal to minus of angle of x of n minus x conjugate of n minus k. So, what we have is angle of x of k is equal to angle of x conjugate of n minus k, but it is equal to negative of angle of x of n minus k. And this is the next set of observation that we have for a real signal. So, in this lecture we considered properties of DFT for a real signal and we saw that x of k is equal to x conjugate of n minus k. The real part of x k that is x r of k is equal to x r of n minus k. Moreover, the imaginary part that is x i of k is equal to minus of x i of n minus k. Moreover, magnitude of x of k and magnitude of x of n minus k is equal and we know that it is also equal to magnitude of x conjugate of n minus k 
and the angle of x of k is equal to negative of angle of x of n minus k. So let's stop here. Thank you.